Hello, this is Agurk. Welcome to Episode 5, Stranded Deep Tutorial on How to Survive and Even Thrive Stranded Deep. Okay, so I've just spawned into the game, and I wanted to explain a little bit more about the raft here. In the last episode, I, I mentioned that you don't want your raft to sail away on you. And that's very true, and I'll demonstrate that here in a bit. <laughs> when you first look at your raft when you spawn in, you can see that the, the sail looks like it is lowered. And if you come over to the raft and hold E to raise, as it says, it actually lowers the sail. And if you just keep looking at it and keep repeating the button, it just always says hold E to raise. Now if we look away, while the sail is down, and continue to look at it while we hold E, it will always say hold E to lower. So there's some definite glitch here with the, the sail system as to whether it's up or down or raised or lowered or whatever. Uh, I hope they fix that because it's a bit confusing sometimes. But just remember when you first spawn in, it will always look like your sail is down or lowered. So before you take your sailboat out into the water, always raise it and lower it just to make sure that it is actually raised. And that's important because if you go out in the water with your raft, and if you're not on the raft and you just kind of raise the sail, it, it will sail away on you. And you can't catch it. You can't swim fast enough. It's just going to keep on sailing and sailing. And yeah, you'll never see it again it will just uh, keep on sailing until it gets to the end of the world. Uh, or until it runs into an island. If it happens to hit an island, you could possibly take your life raft, assuming you still have it, and uh, go and fetch it. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it. And through the magic of editing, we are back, and our raft is still here. And I just spawned in again, and the sail looks like it's lowered. But it wasn't, so we will raise it. Now, I'll show you the correct way to use your sailboat. And I, I did this in the last episode, but I, I didn't really explain it. So, basically, really important when you're going to be operating your sailboat is to hold E to attach yourself or to operate the rudder. And this secures you on your raft. You can then safely raise the sail and control it. Now with your sail, you can actually rotate it with Q and E. I don't think that actually has any effect on the speed of your boat, but eh, some people prefer to be able to use it. If you're a sailor, maybe it just bothers you and, and you want to be able to rotate your sail in the correct direction. I don't know. But that's, yeah, uh, make sure that you do that correctly. And while the raft is moving or sailing actively, on a small raft like this, I wouldn't recommend you stand up or de-attach yourself from the rudder, simply because it's so easy with these small one-piece rafts. So, so easy to step off the edge accidentally if you're not paying attention. But yeah, so those were just a couple of safety tips for dealing with your raft. If you're not on the raft, make sure the sail is up and preferably don't step off of the, of the uh, rudder, or don't take yourself off of the rudder uh, while the raft is moving. All right, so sunset is coming up, and what do we need to do? I need to find that other pippy plant out on the point there that I walked past. And I'm going to build a wooden uh, farming plot so that we have three pippy plants going. And I just wanted to see what the difference between them was. So I'm going to do that now. So here's the pippy plant. I'm going to grab that. So I have a couple other things while I'm here. I had full inventory when I was out here last time, so.
You can see the lanterns that I have placed, one inside the uh, shed here. And then the one over by the base here. And these are great. They give off terrific light. The higher up you can get them, the better. And as you can see, it's just kind of uh, hovering there above the water still. And lanterns kind of do that. Um, you can glitch them to hover over the shelter or over the water collector. Um, otherwise, you need to hang them on a wall with a hook, uh, which I haven't done in this case because I don't have any walls to hang them on. And with the structure I have over here, I can't attach a hook. I have tried, but you can't attach a hook to this because it's not an actual structure. It's one I've kind of created out of uh, other things that are not meant to have hooks hung on them, so. All right, so I'm actually out of fibrous leaves, so I can't create any lashings, and I need a lashing in order to build the wood farming plot. And we can see that if we go to the farming tab. A wood farming plot requires four sticks and a lashing. So I'm going to have to wait until morning when, and hope that some of my plants grow back. So I'm going to sleep for now, and I'll be back in the morning. All right, so it's morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. We're a bit hungry and thirsty, so I'm just gonna grab some food while I wait for the sun to come up. So we're almost at full health. All right, so... Hello. Uh, why is my raft over there? Okay, so I think what has happened during the night, now this is a good lesson. <laughs> uh, there are tides in this game. So the tides will actually rise and fall. So I apparently, I don't think I pulled my raft far enough up onto the beach. So it has actually drifted with the tide over here. As the current seems to be from the right to the left in this bay here. So, luckily for me, the raft just drifted across the bay. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just take this back to where it's supposed to be, without flipping it over. You bad, bad raft. And we'll make sure we pull it far enough up on the beach this time. This is why an anchor is a really good thing to have. Uh, oh no, unfortunately it does take, I think, six lashings to make a, an anchor. Six rocks and six lashings, so it's a bit difficult to make. Alright, so I need to find myself some uh, fibrous leaves in order to make a lashing so that I can build a wooden farming plot. All right, so let's drop the pippy plants and the four sticks here, because I will need those along with the hoe in order to... Nicely done. <laughs> uh, the hoe to make... I'll need those plus a lashing to make the wooden farming plot. And I'm just going to drop this hammer too. I don't really need to carry it around with me everywhere. And the water bottle. And there's one more drink, so we're now at full, uh, we're almost at full. And we have a pig cornered over here. He seems to be stuck. I'm going to see if I can kill him with a knife. Uh, and I'm not... One. I'm going to count how many times it takes to hit him with a knife. Two. Come on. Seven. Eight hits with a refined knife will apparently kill a wild boar. And I did see the snake out of the corner of my eye over here somewhere. 
I don't know where he went, but he was somewhere on the beach here. So I don't... Oh, there he is. He's sitting up by the tree, but he's making a run for it. See him slithering off in the distance there. Oh my god, he's fast. Come on, guy. Slow down. I want to kill you. <laughs> Ooh, piece of cloth. That's nice. And again, I'll try and kill him with one shot of a refined spear. And it worked. All right, so we start the morning off by killing a snake and a boar. And we'll just take these guys back to the fire, where they will be skinned and prepared for food. All right, let's get him as well. Come with me, young man. Or young lady, I don't actually know what you are. And I don't even know if you're young, but hey. We'll just say that's what they need. All right, so we are on a quest for fibrous leaves. We should be able to roam around freely now without having to worry about any more snakes. There were four snakes on this island, and that again is something you'll only see on a custom island. Standard islands have a maximum of two snakes. The rules are kind of thrown a little bit out the window though when you do custom islands. You can have a shark infested island or a snake infested island. Now, this is a... Uh, because I built this island, I know what's on it. Um, so it takes a little bit of the mystery out of it. But there is a hidden feature on this island that I haven't shown you yet. And that is right in through here. There's a shipwreck. Kind of hidden in the rocks. Which is supposed to be kind of like a secret secret uh, hideaway or something. And we have a woolly, which is another castaway reference to Wilson from Castaway, the volleyball. Tarp. My inventory is full. Okay, so I can't actually grab any of this stuff. We got another machete, compass, a jerry can, and a couple of rations. I'll have to come back for this stuff because I can't uh, carry any of it right now. All right, so I have enough fibrous leaves. I'm going to make a lashing. And I'm going to pick up the hoe because I need that in my hand in order to do this. And we're going to build a wood farming plot. Put it there. Drop the hoe again. Take the plant and plant it. Just take this one here and just drop it. Okay. So you can see that a wooden farming plot, it will only hold four drinks of water, whereas these will hold six in a plank or corrugated scrap farming plot. So that, I don't believe it has any effect on how quickly the plants will grow. I think it's just a matter of how much water it will hold as to how often you have to water it yourself. All right, I'm going to skin these guys up and get some meat cooking. Blah. Our inventory is full, so let's drop one Sticks. Let's go over here and turn these into leather. Leather. And I'll probably make a pickaxe or something with those. So with a pickaxe, I can mine oh, some of those uh, rock nodes, and I can also collect clay out in the water. Both of those require a pickaxe. All right, so let's hang some meat up here. Right, get this going. I can 
see that it's going to be high UV today. I forgot to take my sunscreen so far. Make sure I don't have sunstroke. I do not. Just what I need. Exactly. I love this little shit. <laughs> All right, two cloths there. Let's fill our water still. Um, to add fuel to your fire, you just hold E while you're adding a stick or a fiber sleeve or a palm frond. Those will all work just as well. Another plank we can add to our pile over here. Alright, doesn't want to go that high. Alright, well that cooks, and that produces water, and those grow over there. I am going to just run around and see if I can find some more fibrous leaves. Some of them should have grown back by now. Oh, good, another uh, yucca plant that has grown back. Deep blue ocean. Ooh, that is deep. Oh, one thing that I, I'll mention as I'm wandering around here is that there is a new experimental version of the game out. It's version 52, or 0 0.52. And in that, they have fixed the noise that you can hear in the background. You can hear the fire crackling away, even though it's nowhere near us. And they have actually fixed that in the new version of the game. So there's the view of our island. Birds flying around. We're actually higher than the birds right now. And see some other islands off in the distance. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this one's grown back too. the shipwreck right out there that we have to explore. And I'll get into doing some ship shipwrecks at some point. Not sure if I'll have time to do it in this episode, but yeah, you can see my raft is now quite a bit up on the sand. <laughs> Take that. And you don't want to let these get down to no water, otherwise they'll start drying up and then they can actually die. Alright, so our meat is now smoked. I can turn, turn off or extinguish the fire so we don't use up any more fuel. Fill that up. Still no water there. So take this and put it in the storage shed. Actually, drop that. That here with the other one. And 
drop him onto the pile. And again, you can manipulate these by right-clicking and holding down your mouse button to move them around and try and stack them nicely and whatnot. All right, we're already getting late in the day and I need more water for myself. So I think I'm gonna have to build another water still. So again, we'll need a coconut, a palm frond. So we're gonna have to cut down a palm tree. I'll just take this little guy right here. and the palm bunch which will detach and break apart tarp we need three rocks one lash but we need one for the Coconut flask. Alright, so can I build that now? I can. Alright, so I'm just going to put this one right next to that one. And I'll move my fibrous leaves from here and just put them in front of both of these so that I can keep both of them going. So that should give me a good, wa good water supply. And as I mentioned, you can use palm fronds in your water stills as well. And I'll need, probably need to do that because I'm kind of running low on fibrous leaves. See, there was one that spawned. It has grown back over here, so I'm just gonna grab that. And any other ones that have grown back. It's a never ending quest for palm fronds or fibrous leaves. Alright, it's getting late again, so I'll uh, sleep for the night. Ah, it's a little early yet. I'll maybe do some maintenance stuff. I'll do a bit of maintenance, and then I'll sleep for the night and uh, come back in the morning. Alright, it's morning again. 6.14 in the morning. I've uh, been keeping my water stills going watered my farming plots a little bit so they're growing nicely and we're running low on fibrous leaves and palm fronds uh, what do we got here a couple of pieces of cloth a couple of rocks machete label maker let's name this custom island One fun thing with the label maker is that you can label anything that has a name. So you can label your life raft, you can label your your raft and give it a name. Uh, you can call it the SS Minnow or whatever you want to call it. You can even actually name crabs. <laughs> Which is, I, I like to name my crabs if I can find any. It's a, the water's a bit too dark. I don't want to venture out into the water when it's dark like this. But it's fun. You can actually name uh, sharks or boars if you've killed some boars. I, don't, I wouldn't readily try it on a live one, but if you've killed a boar and you have his corpse lying there, you can actually name it. I'm just going to try and find... Ooh, I don't think we want to step on him.
And I'm not finding any crabs, of course. Because when you want one, you can never find one. Uh, that's my inventory. I have room in my inventory, so I should be able to come in here and grab a few things. So let's grab the jerry can, air tank. Don't really need the machete or the. Uh, that harp I don't really need again. All right, let's take these with us. Or you know what? The first thing I'm gonna do with Wooly is to rename him Wilson. Because hey, we don't care about copyrights. Let's uh, see if we can. What have I got for water here? I'm down one food to water. Ah, right, we got lots of water for our for our uh, plants now, so we can get these fully watered. I'm thinking what I might do next with farming plots is plant a couple more over here. Pippy plants are the most important thing to be growing in the beginning. Breath boost would be nice. I could perhaps grow some ajuga plants. Um, and the next most important thing would be potatoes. We want to grow potatoes to fuel any motors we eventually add to our raft. Yucca plant that has grown back over here. All right, so we have two yucca plants that have grown back again. And I collected the other two that had already grown back last night, so... I don't think I need to do those again. But yeah, with two water stills, it's going to go very quickly with using these up. And I still need to, to make an anchor, which requires six uh, lashings, which is going to require a lot of uh, fibrous leaves. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. This game is really spectacular. Alright, so I'm at full health, I'm healthy, oh, I need my sunblock before the uh, sun comes up. Again, this is a never-ending thing, this sunblock. When you're in a summer month like this, where the UV is going to be really high, need. you really have to remember to take that sunblock every day, or right around this time of day, I think it's noon, <laughs> if you get to 12 o'clock in the afternoon and you haven't uh, taken your sunblock yet, you will get sunstroke. Hey, Wilson. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is just call this an episode, and what I might do off-screen is uh, sail off to back to the home island maybe and just uh, harvest some fibrous leaves and come back just so that I have a little bit of a supply here. Uh, but I probably won't do too, too much more than that. If there's anything that I left behind on the main island, I'll go back and get it and come back again, and we'll uh, go from there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, maybe learned something. There wasn't an awful lot of tutorial in this episode, but we shall remedy that in the future. Bye for now.